Hey, I'm Alicia Keys, and this is Echo for the World. We're the link. Our planet is calling out for help, and companies are answering with environmental and sustainable development. Extrata Coal of Australia is exploring ways to reduce the impact on both livelihoods and the environment. Ask anyone about Australia's Hunter Valley and they'll tell you about the wine. This was the first area in Australia to grow grapes for wine production and today is home to more than 120 world-class vineyards. The Hunter, as the locals call it, is also valuable for another reason. Coal mining, Extrata Coal, the world's largest exporter of thermal coal, gets nearly half of their coal from New South Wales, the part of Australia where the Hunter is located. With about 40% of the electricity worldwide coming directly from coal, almost half in the US alone, this area is precious. But the coal mining that's going on underground is sure to have an effect on the vines that grow above. It's not about minimising any impacts, it's about giving the growers information to make the best out of it. In fact, the impacts could, in, could possibly be in a positive way. Professor David Lamb and his team of researchers from the University of New England are trying to determine what happens to a vineyard when a 1,400 hectare coal mine is built right underneath it. As any wine grower will tell you, the secret to a good wine is in the vineyard, and any change to the climate, soil, or even slope of the land can affect the length of the growing season and ultimately the flavor of the wine. Every grapevine has been located on the ground using a global positioning system. With this information, we can convert all our measurements into a map to show us how these particular parameters vary over in space. And that's crucial if you want to see if there is an impact on undermining on the very crops that are above them. This is Extrata's Beltana mine in the Hunter Valley. Every year, seven million tonnes of thermal coal is dug out of the ground here, destined for power plants around the world to be converted into electricity to refrigerate our food and heat our homes. All that coal taken out of the ground leaves behind a vast, empty space. The main impact that the underground operation has on the environment is, uh, is through substance of the land. Uh, it's where we under, undermine the land and the land drops a proportion of that, of that depth. The land above the mining settles a bit over time. This eventual settling of the land is what could change the amount of sun the grapes receive each day and in turn affect the sweetness of the wine. One of our biggest worries initially was what would happen to the vineyard because um, they hadn't mined under vineyards before. Bob and Terry Kennedy have been running their vineyard Beyond Broke for the last 10 years and have been working with Ralph Northey of Extrata Coal to understand what's going on with their grapes. We have, uh, with um, Beltana and with the um, University of New England, put in a process where we uh, take berry, 50 berry weights from 200 vines. All that data is then collated and worked on by Dave Land from the University of New England to actually give us a yield map of the vineyard. Now this is quite groundbreaking stuff. No, no other people have gone this far in doing it. Professor Lamb and his team have been studying these vines for four years, three before any mining occurred to gather baseline data, and one year post-mining to look for any change. Watching the vines is not the only component of Professor Lamb's research. When coal is extracted from the mine, it's possible that it could also alter the way the soil holds moisture. We have an electromagnetic sensor that is capable of measuring the soil moisture in the ground beneath the ground. So what we do is we measure these profiles um, many times dur during the season and we'll compare the map of the soil moisture at different parts of the season with the footprint of the longwall mine under the ground. 
And this information will be very useful in telling us if there is an effect of the mining on the soil, which could be linked to the grapes production. Although the final results of LAM's study are still two years away, the Hunter Valley wine growers are happy that companies like Extrata Coal are doing their best to reduce the impact they have, both on local habitats and livelihoods. Yeah.